Hey, it's Steve, welcome to my shop. I did a video on Kittle not too long ago. It's a design tool and I've moved most of my creative design work to it. And many of you really seem to enjoy that video. So I decided to do another one because there's big news happening in, in the Kittle world. And I wanna talk about it in this video. And here's a hint. So if you've got a small business, maybe it's a workshop like I have or some other kind of business, or maybe you just have some, some family occasion and you wanna do some kind of logo wear like a t-shirt. The good news is you can now do that in Kittle. They've added a new print on demand service. And in this video, I'll show you how I created this t-shirt as well as another one. I took an, an existing design on this one, my logo. I built a new design for, for the second shirt and I'll show you how I did that. And I did it with a couple of mouse clicks and that's enough context, so let's get started. So here's design number one. It's really just my company logo. And the reason I wanted to use this one was because it has a lot of fine text on it. I wanna see how their, the t-shirt silk screening process handles this fine text. And aside from that, it's really limited to three colors. So it's not gonna be fuddle a, a silk screening process or any kind of printing process. So that's the first design. The second design is a little more complex. It uses uh, multiple colors. It's got more graphics on it. And again, I, I put my company logo here, but I did it very small again, because I want to see what, what small things are going to look like when I print them. And uh, I just wanted to try out this shirt. I haven't done any merch on my channel for, for things like t-shirts, but if, you, if you're interested in this particular shirt, uh, I'll figure out how to make it available. Leave a comment down below and I'll see if there's enough demand. Uh, anyway, you'll notice that, that this is on a black background. And again, it's because I want to do uh, dark t-shirts. But if you said, what does this look like on a red shirt? Or you can change the color to something else, some kind of blue maybe. And that will tell you whether your graphics are going to look okay on a particular colored shirt. Be the reason I do it here is because I'm going to turn this background off before I submit it to the print on demand service. And if I do that while I'm trying to design something, it will look something like this and you won't be able to see anything. So, uh, so that's why I did this. So you can see my two designs are pretty simple, but it should look okay on a t-shirt. And the next step is to take those designs and send them to the print on demand service. So now I'm back in Kittle and I want to start the print on demand service for this design. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to select the export. Now we used the export in the previous video to export things like PNG files. But here we have a new option, which is this print your design. And you can see when I do that, it shows me two options. I can print a t-shirt or I can put my design on a hoodie. And those are the only two options I have right now because this is the pre-release software. Kittle says there'll be more things here, hopefully by the time you get to see this. I for one would also like stickers. I use a lot of stickers in my business. So uh, those would be very useful for me to take my designs and go right to stickers. Uh, anyway, I'll, I'll choose the t-shirt because that's what I want. And when I do, it shows me my design on uh, the default t-shirt, which is this green color and a medium size. So I don't want this green color, so I'm gonna pick a different color. Now, as I'm doing this, you can see there are just a lot of different colors and I can choose them at, at, at will to see what my design is gonna look like on that particular color. And I'm gonna choose a, a navy color. There's a navy blue one down here somewhere. I'll choose that because I like blue. So now that I'm happy with the positioning, I'm gonna change the size here too because I forgot to do that. I'm a pretty fat guy, so I'm gonna choose the extra large and I'm gonna add this to the cart. Now you'll notice I got an error here and that's because the, the image that I have is outside of this dotted box that they provided for the print area. What I've noticed, and this is the first of, of my complaints about this feature, what I've noticed is there's just no way of getting this granular enough to move that around and put it in the right place. So what I'm going to end up having to do is get it close and make it smaller, put it all inside the box, and then I can resize it and it'll snap to the outside. I get a, It seems I get a little more detail when I do that. So it works. I hope this is something they, they fix though as they're, as they're going along. Anyway, when I'm happy, I can add that to the cart. 
And that's really all I have to do. I can then go and check out the cart and you can see I put my other design in there already. But if I look at this design, you can see it's my navy blue shirt with, with my design on it. And at this point, I can see the total. It's $26 for two t-shirts, which I don't think is too bad, all things considered. And if I hit the checkout button, then I can enter my personal information, hit the continue, and I will order a, uh, order a couple of t-shirts. So I ordered my shirts. It was $13 a shirt, and there was some minimal uh, fee for shipping it. It arrived in a week, and it was completely drama-free from end to end. And this is the beauty of Kittle. I could create something. I never have to, had to leave the tool to order a shirt, and I got a shirt in a week. And this one came out great. The second one I'll show you here, it actually is a navy blue shirt, but my studio lighting here is a little bit crazy. You can see even the fine detail in the logo came out great. This logo is less than a half an inch tall. And again, I'm impressed. So kudos to Kittle for doing a great job on this. I have spoken to them about some features. I noted the, the sizing issues there, I think could be a little bit better. Uh, also, calibration. I would actually have made this logo a little bit higher on the shirt, but I had a bit of a difficult time trying to figure out where that was. So some guide marks uh, would be good. Ideally, they will take their t-shirt uh, me mechanics that they already have in Kittle, and from there I could just click print on demand and, and order something because there I have much better positioning. Uh, anyway, there's a few things they, they want to do. They have said that there's more coming to this service. And again, cross my fingers for stickers because I do use a lot of that kind of thing in my shop. And uh, go out and try it. Now, there is in the description down below a link to Kittle. It gives everybody who, who uses that link a 30-day free upgrade to the Kittle Pro. So you get all of the capabilities that I've used in, in this series of videos and you get it for free for 30 days. So click that, go give it a try and get out there, make your world and I'll see you next time.